Yet they still leak. That's crazy. They're lit. What is that? Like something is knocking at my back door. so early is because I still have to pack my lunch and I couldn't decide if I wanted to do makeup or not and I think I'm gonna not but I'm wearing these pants from Zara this bodysuit is from Ross I love it I have two of them and then I have on these loafers also from Ross they're by Nautica um, so yeah, that's my outfit. I have on my Apple Watch, which I haven't worn in months. Um, I have this necklace 
that I got as a gift and I just have on some small diamond earrings very minimal we don't dress to impress at my job so this is my outfit um yeah I'm gonna head to the kitchen and get my lunch and stuff ready and then we'll be on the way it's gonna be dark during my commute so I doubt there's going to be any like car chats, but, um, and I'm doing the best I can with my natural hair. Um, obviously because I wear leave out, like this part is heat damaged, but it's fine. We're making it work. And prayerfully Saturday, this coming Saturday, I can get my install back. So yeah, let's go. So because I have a little time left, I'm going to make my Starbucks Honey Citrus Mint Tea. I have been using the Tivana Tea. If you had looked at my previous video where I do a tutorial on how to make it. Um, but recently I've been using the Good and Gather because I feel like it has better flavor. How are you going to be doing better than the original? couple things I have to do before I can head out. I need to take my vitamins. So I have to take vitamin D3 and B12 daily. I'm also supposed to take iron, but I just realized that I don't actually have an iron tablet. So I need to pick some of those up. <clears throat> the B12 is sublingual. And then I'm just going to fill my, these things are so hard to unscrew. Yet they still leak. That's crazy. So yeah, I'm going to fill my Stanley up. I try to drink two of these a day. These are the 30 ounce Stanleys. Um, the 40 ounce is ideal, but I just don't like that straw sticker straight up. So um, I'll have like two of these daily and I don't put ice in it because with ice um, you don't get your full amount of liquid. So I just pour cold water in it because the water will stay cold enough by the time I finish drinking it. So here's that. I don't put too much. All right, for real, the last thing is me packing my breakfast. I showed you like my boiled egg. This is so cute. My mom got me this as a stocking stuffer. Then I'll have bacon and an English muffin, a blueberry English muffin. Got that. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this up because obviously it's after six and I need to get going. So I'll catch back up with you all later and share how my first day back went. <laughs> Hello. I am on my way home from my first day back at work. And
I really have no words. Like, I have no words. I just pray that, pray that God bless me with a better opportunity. A better opportunity. I'm getting ready. I'm trying to get home so that I can go into my prayer hour. So I'm just trying to see like how that's going to work out. It's time for prayer. <laughs> Alright, so I'm back home from my first day of work. My first day back at work. And nothing motivates me more to make content and post content than going to that job. Like, I'll just say that. So I thought I would um, share some book reviews of some books that I read um, in February. The girlies on TikTok and the book talk and all those book reading girlies they be reading like 15 20 books a month and I'm just like how <laughs> like I be trying to spend time with God spend more time with God spend time with myself keep this house together have a relationship like <laughs> there's so many things and reading books is something that I have to just be able to sit and relax and concentrate on. Um, I will admit what I've learned though is I'm not as fast a reader as I used to be and that's okay because I mean I read a book and the girl was like oh I read that book in two and a half hours and I'm just like here I am two weeks <laughs> and I'm not done but that's neither here nor there. So the two books that I read in February are Homebodies. So Homebodies is by Timby Denton Hurst. And it is a book about a black writer or African-American female writer who lives in New York and works for or is it is experiencing racism or racial undertones at her job and it leads to her getting I don't know if it leads to her getting terminated but at any rate um <clears throat> it just reminds me of what I experience being a black woman in America and excuse me let me rephrase that being an educated black woman in America being a black woman in America in and of itself is already a challenge but an educated black woman in certain spaces it is a very heavy burden and so that is what this book supposed to be about but then it ends up being more about her love life um than it is the work life and I was really anticipating it being more about I guess the plight of the black woman in corporate America or whatever your industry is and how we are mistreated in those spaces overlooked in those spaces overworked in those spaces um, how the expectation is different for us in those spaces that's what I was expecting from this book more than what I got from the book and to be honest I didn't love it it was it's it's one that people do love but I did not love this book um would I recommend it yes I'm gonna recommend it because everybody's reading taste is different I'm no book critic again I'm telling you I read slow in comparison to a lot of the book, book talk people but um I didn't love this book. It's not one that I want to reread <laughs> or would ever reread. But I think, you know, if you're interested. <laughs> Another thing is that I judge books by their cover and this cover is really cute. Um, I will grab a book, not even read the summary, just because the cover is cute. Like, I don't know, that's just, 
that's just me so and with that i have had some really bad books <laughs> um and i've read some really good books like that so that was one and then this other one again you're gonna see a thing where it is about a cute cover so this one is rootless by crystal zara apia Op sorry i said that wrong i don't know um this book i would say oh i didn't rate the other book i'm not gonna write any books i'm not gonna write any books because i don't think i've read enough books to start writing them but um this one would i recommend it i would probably recommend this book it is about a Ghanaian am I saying that right a woman from Ghana who lives in London and it's a heavy it's a heavy book it has some triggers it has some triggers um I will say I don't think it's fast-paced I didn't I didn't like how it starts you out with the present day and then it walks you back and I'm talking walks you back like <clears throat> 19 years before kind of thing and it kind of just you start to feel like you kind of know what's going to happen and you can kind of figure it out but it just took a while to get to it it's almost like a lot of little short stories some of them relevant to the initial plot and some not so much in my opinion or maybe i would have to go back and reread it to get um the foreshadowing aspect of it but love the cover and i would recommend it but i would recommend it with caution because there are some triggers in here um yeah there are definitely some triggers um, it's also too about, I would say just the overall description of it is that, um, again, the plight of the black woman, how people kind of force you into a box and tell you what your life should be like. Um, and they don't really allow you the space to have freedom of thought for yourself or freedom of expression for yourself um and you kind of conform because you don't know what else to do um especially for people who are people pleasers and they don't want to ruffle any feathers or cause a stir it's easy to get caught up in like this type of situation um but yeah, it was just a lot of people like not listening to her and what she wanted for her life and just telling her what she should want and what to want and how to handle certain situations. And it was sad. Like, I would say this book is sad <laughs> all the way through. I don't think it's intended to be sad all the way through. But for me, what she was experiencing was sad all the way through. But I would recommend it. I would recommend it. All right, so I'm dressed for day two of my return back to work. Um, obviously, you can see the excite the excitement, <laughs> but alas, we are here. I'm wearing a long sleeve red bodysuit from Target. I got it a couple years ago. Um, this skirt. I got from Ross, I'm pretty sure, or Burlington's. Yo, I got it from Burlington's. And then I'm wearing some flats. These flats are from DSW. They're Kelly and Kate's, but if you're on Instagram, they look like the Rothy's. And I like the Rothy's. I don't like the price of the Rothy's. <laughs> so I saw these in, what you call that place? DSW and they were half the price. So I got them in 
black and I got them in navy as well. So, um, it, I don't know what time it is. It's probably like 5.50 a.m. right now. And I usually try to leave the house by 6, no later than 6.15. And I need to stop by the store and get a cucumber for my salad because I didn't do that yesterday. So, um, I'm going to just pack my lunch and head on out for the day. Sin. God sent prophets and judges to correct them. Whatever judgment they endured was meant to get their attention to put them back on the right path. When we accept Jesus, we have passed from judgment to grace. All right, so I'm back home from day two of going back to work. And... I have a headache. <laughs> I want to make some okra water. And I've been seeing everybody make it on TikTok for a while now. But even before I started seeing people make it on TikTok, my cousin is a doula. And she was talking about it. And then I started seeing it on TikTok. So I don't know. Anyway, I got some organic okra from the grocery store. So I'm pretty sure that this is way too much for one set or one um, serving. So I'm gonna cut it up and then I'm gonna freeze it. The recipe that I saw, it just said um, 32 ounces of water and then like, I don't know, maybe that much okra and then they mix it with the tart cherry juice and drink it at night. And that's their sleepy girl drink or whatever. I need to get my two bottles of water. I'm really running low on water bottles. I'm gonna have to go to Costco tomorrow. Uh, basically, I'm gonna cut up the okra, put the water in and then put it in the refrigerator. It says let it sit for 24 hours, so I should finish right in time for me to be um, ready for tomorrow at bedtime. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that. So I made it, but looking at it, I don't know that that's enough okra. I don't know. I put eight of the little okra pieces. I cut eight of them up and put it in. At first I had six and then I added two more. So then I'm like, should I do 10? Should I add two more? I'm going to add two more. I'm going to add two more. They said the frozen kind works too, as long as they're organic. All right, so that's it. That's all we gonna do today. And then this is a lot, this is a lot of water to drink. Like that's crazy. So yeah, I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for 24 hours and I'm gonna finish cutting up these other ones and freeze them for the next night. So yeah. 
All right, so we got some crumble cookies for the week. And let me show you. They just got here, I ordered them. Crumble cookie, their delivery fee is ridiculous. It's $10, but look at that. So this is some type of brownie, something or another. This is like a Oreo cream. This is like a blueberry cobbler. And then that's another Oreo and cream because the chocolate chip that I ordered, they didn't have. Let me actually, let me actually say what they are. Hold on just a second. Ouch. Okay, so. Okay, so this one is cookies and cream milkshake, and that one's the same as that one. This one is Buckeye Brownie, and then this one is Blueberry Cheesecake. So typically, how this works is we'll like just take a bite <laughs> out of each one and then probably leave it sitting for the rest of the week and don't really go back to them so that's typically how that works but um cookies and cream is a fave so we got that my absolute favorite one is the donut one and they had that on the menu last week i only got one so all right ready for day three Going back to work, I have on these pants from JCPenney, I think. This is so old, I don't know. Then a white tank from Target and the same fake properties. Um, struggling with my hair, but that's what it is. So. All right, so it's Thursday and I'm getting ready to go to work. Yesterday, I was so freaking tired. I know I had <laughs> came on about the, um, the okra water and I was planning to eat, to drink it with the tart cherry before I went to sleep. No, I got home, I got on the couch at a little after five to take a nap i missed bible study <laughs> i was not i did not wake back up until like nine o'clock like i i was so tired but anyway here i am today um thursdays i usually wear one of my work shirts some trouser jeans and i'm gonna put on these toms this natural color toms um and that's it so i'm about to go um pack my lunch and either make some tea or some coffee i don't know i'm not even a coffee girl but i am really struggling <laughs> to get back into this really early routine I think it's about 5.40 a.m. right now. I usually have to leave the house by 6 to get to work by like 6.30 or 6.45. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening. I will catch back up later today. <laughs> Lord willing, I will catch back up later today. Trash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a 
Yeah, the fourth one is good. She's gonna steal her some. <laughs> water with this tart cherry um, I'm about to taste it I don't know I like okra but I like okra fried I haven't had okra like boiled in a long time and it's giving like boiled okra but I did used to eat boiled okra when I was a kid so let's see It's thick and you can't taste, you can't really taste, it doesn't have a flavor for it to be nasty, but it's also not good. And I also don't know if it's beneficial for me anyway. Yeah, it's not bad. It doesn't taste like anything. Even with the tart cherry. Like, it doesn't taste like anything. Like, probably once I drink it down a good amount, maybe I'll add some more tart cherry. Actually, let me see. I'm going to add... <laughs> it's probably not going to do any good. I was about to say, I'm going to add some sugar-free vanilla syrup and see if that'll give it some flavor. Because right now, it's just thick. It don't have any type of flavor. But it's hard to mix anything with this slime. And even still, like, I got that much left. Like, I'm just letting it slow strain. And there's still some left. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I won't make as much. Or maybe... Maybe I don't need to drink all of it in one day. Like maybe one batch can last me two days. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Let's try this now. That's a little bit better. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. I'll um, set up another set from the, what you call it? What did I make? Oh, from the frozen ones. God, I cannot think. All right. It is Friday and I did not bring out my camera this morning because I overslept. 
I overslept. I woke up at 6.20 a.m. when I typically leave my house at 6 o'clock a.m. to get to work. Um, God really did wake me because like as I was asleep, like they're lit. What is that? Like something is knocking at my back door. It be bugs out here, like just knocking at the back door. But um, a small sweet voice was just like, shouldn't you be up by now? <laughs> and then I was like, oh, and I woke up, I looked at the time and I was like, oh. So not only that, I'm just so exhausted. Like I'm so tired and there are things that I need to do and I can't even think clearly enough to know what those things are. <laughs> so I'm about to try. I'm about to try. I know I need to fold some laundry. I know I need to start some laundry. So I'm about to do that. All right, so I'm actually back. Still Friday. I am on my way to Barnes & Noble to pick up my new Kennedy Ryan book that this is wait this could be us book I ordered that book for a pickup at five and they said that I would get an email or a text message when it was ready and it should be ready in two hours and I never got anything so I just called it's 8.09 right now and I gotta drive 31 minutes to go get it <laughs> and I don't care if I'm rolling up in there at the end of their night because it could have, they could have notified me and I could have been there earlier. So I'm about to go do that. And then <laughs> honestly, I don't even know. Like I have so many books, I guess, I guess I'll start that one once I finish the one that I have checked out from the library that's fair and then i'll start this could be us before i start monday is not coming because i'm a little more excited about this could be us so that's what i'm about to do this good friday night go get a book and then oh yeah i also didn't accomplish anything <laughs> i didn't accomplish anything around the house while um yeah, I've just been trying to stay awake. <laughs> I've been trying to stay awake and I was talking to my mom, helping her take care of some business and whatever. to work after being off for 12 weeks on medical leave and just trying to get back into the swing of things um yeah so if you made it to the end thank you so much for watching um and yeah i'll see you in the next video